last time. We're gonna be tearing the rest of the K24 motor and we're hopefully, we're gonna be rebuilding it for some boost. Stay tuned. Damn, girl. Where have you been? Take this shit off. Damn. Right here where I left her. Loyal as can be, the Loyal K24. All right guys, today is part two of the K24 teardown. We have the motor right here. We're picking up where we left off last time, minus the oil pan. That was just a few simple bolts I did off camera. Today, we're gonna show you how to take the remainder of the block apart. All right, let's get it. First thing we have to do is to flip this motor around all right so we're gonna take this oil pan off it's just a few simple bolts right here um eventually we'll probably have to take the like, oil pump guide 14 millimeter bolt 12 12 millimeter bolt right here this is also 12. oil pan bolts this is the oil pump pulley bolt okay taking off the oil pump Ooh, you son of a Say what? oil pump is out <laughs> Now we're taking off the baffle. Ooh, they're tens. So break these off. Oh, we don't even need this extension. For the girdle, I've opted for the big boy. AKA the breaker bar. And I believe there is a sequence that you do this in. After you remove all the bolts from the girdle, what people recommend doing is taking a knife and if you're able to lift any of the spots up, run a blade through there. They have a nice clean surface. Basically the rest of the girdle is held on by RTV and once we cut the RTV it should free up the girdle. Then you want to grab a flathead screwdriver and carefully pry the areas of the girdle that don't necessarily overlap the block. You want to be careful you don't want to score the block or make any nicks and voila girdle is off ho 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 the crankshaft damn these look so good All right, so now we will be taking the rod bolts off. So take the rod caps off. So take out the pistons and rods. The rods, pistons are down there to take out the crankshaft. And then we'll have a bare block ready for inspection and to be sent for hot tanking. After the bolts have been removed, you want to use these bolts to rock the cap back and forth. And there you go, the rod cap comes off. Oh wow. 
After you get the rod caps out, you want to make sure the piston is towards the top of the spore, which is top dead center. Push on the sides of the rod, push, and then there you go, piston is out. Now we want to repeat the same steps that we just went through. You want to take the rod bolts off the remaining three rods and push the pistons through. Once that's done, we're going to work on taking out the crankshaft. Okay, crank seal popped off. I think the crank seal is off. Oh, the crank is heavy. Oh, 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 the crank is out. Thrust washers. And finally, you want to remove the four oil squirters. All right, guys, that is a wrap for today. This block, I'm gonna call my local engine shop that I use, and we're gonna see about the price on getting this hot tanked, getting the, the girdle, which is down here, hot tanked. Yes, my pink bike, I'm rolling. Um, micro polishing the crank journals. Yeah, I mean, so far, I ran my hands through each cylinder. They feel very smooth. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey. If you like what you see, please continue to show your support by subscribing to the channel, hitting that like button, dropping me a comment. Uh, it'll be much appreciated. It's all going to be much appreciated. And we'll see you next time. Peace.